simplify 1 upon square root of 7 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 2. Here we will divide the numbers and denominator in two groups. We see that 7 is the sum of 5 and 2. So here in two groups, in the first group we will keep 7 and in other group we will keep 5 and 2. See how. So I am dividing the denominator in two parts. In the first part there is square root 7 and in the second part there are square root 5 and square root 2. Okay. After this I will rationalize this fraction. We can rationalize this fraction by multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of 7 whole negative of square root of 5 minus square root of 2 by doing so we will get square root of 7 minus square root of 5 minus square root 2 in the numerator denominator is the multiplication of two numbers the first number is square root of 7 plus square root of 5 minus square root 2 other number is square root 7 minus of square root of 5 minus square root of 2 here we can apply an identity it is a plus b multiplication with a minus b is equal to a square minus b square here a stands for square root 7 and b stands for square root 5 minus square root 2 so using this identity here we can write the denominator as square root 7 square minus square root 5 minus square root 2 whole square okay Further, we can simplify it as square root 7 minus square root 5 and negative negative is positive. So positive or you can say plus square root 2. This is all about the numerator. In the denominator, you have square of square root 7. It is 7. Then minus of square root of 5 minus square root, 2, square root of 2 whole square. We can use here an identity it is a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice of a b here a stands for square root 5 and b stands for square root 2 so using this identity here we can write it as square root of 5 square it is a square then b square minus twice of a b now we can simplify it further the numerator is as it is it is square root 7 minus square root 5 plus square root 2 then 7 minus 5 plus 2 minus 2 times of multiplication of square root 5 and square root 2 it is square root 10 so we will write it as 2 times of square root 10. Further we can write numerator as it is. It is 7 minus after opening the bracket 7 minus 5 minus 2 and plus 2 times of square root 10. 7 minus 5 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So 0 is adding with 2 square root 10. So the value remain unchanged. It is square root 7 minus square root 5 plus square root 2 divided by 2 times of square root 10. Once again we find a fraction with irrational denominator. We will have to rationalize it once again. This time we will multiply both numerator and denominator with square root of 10 so numerator is the multiplication of 
square root 7 minus square root of 5 plus square root of 10 and square root 10. Denominator we will have 2 times of square root 10 and then in multiplication with square root 10. The numerator square root 10 will multiply to all these terms. First square root 7 and square root 10. It is square root of 70. Then 5 tens are 50 so it is minus of square root 50. Then it is square root of 20. 2 times of 10. We can write square root 70 as it is minus square root 50 plus square root of 20 whole divided by 20. Now consider square root of 50. Square root of 50 is multiplication of square root of 25 and square root of 2. Square root of 25 can be written as 5 so it is 5 times square root 2. So square root 50 can be written as 5 times of square root 2. Similarly square root 20 is 4 times square of 5 square root of 4 times 5 so it is square root 4 in multiplication with square root 5 square root of 4 is 2 so it is 2 times of square root 5 so using these two results we can substitute the values of square root 50 and square root 20 here so this fraction will become square root 70 as it is minus square root 50 it is 5 times of square root 2 square root 20 is 2 times of square root 5 and it is divided by 20.